So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your another chatbot tutorial. I don't remember the tutorial number exactly. But uh, in this tutorial what we are going to do is I'm going to show you how you can add that get started button to your chatbot when the user or you know the person who is using your chatbot uses it for the first time, right? I'm just going to show you a little example here. You see you click on this message now button you see that this button is get started now if you go to messenger.com then uh, it kind of is just the sidebar of facebook right in a beautiful way so there you would see this get started button taking up your full screen so that would kind of make an impression if you want to do that you can do that so to do that what you need to do is uh, you need to actually uh, send a request to Facebook with your authentication token and this should be something like uh, you know you can just go to Google and write uh, get started button on Facebook messenger right you'd see this first link just go ahead and copy this code you see right here but it's just a call request you can do this with PHP as well but it's it's way easier to do that with just your bash shell or you know your git bash if you are using that so it's just way easier right so what you need to do is just paste it here I'm just configuring it so I just have to hit enter after entering it in git bash and just replace your access token right and uh, inside your payload this would be the thing which would allow you allow your script to recognize that this user has came for the first time to your chatbot because your script does not know the state of the chat right it's just like facebook sends some data your script sends some data back and it's dead right on the next boot your fa your script does not know who the user was or whom it is talking with right I mean it does with the user ID but you know you get the idea you do not know the state of that user so in the play payload what we'll write is anything you like like uh, first handshake it could be anything right it's just the same data Facebook will return to your script when the user clicks on that get started button right so once you are done with that just copy this code and uh, if you have git bash installed then you can just shift press shift and right click anywhere and you'll see that this git bash here right if you are on windows 10 actually you should have bash itself i guess i do not have that or i do actually yeah i need to install it i don't have that yet i'll just do that later because it would take some time right so if you have git bash installed you can go ahead and uh, just git bash it from this thing right and uh, if you're on windows 10 and have bash installed you can do the same thing from the command line for windows otherwise you can i don't know i haven't tried it maybe there are some online called request senders or something so you can just go ahead and just do that it's just a CURL request or whatever you want to call it and you can actually do that with PHP as well but then you just need to configure it like this something like this so it's kind of tedious because you have to do this only once right so just go ahead copy this thing open your git bash right just paste it here and you'll see that this is successfully added new thread CTA right so now let's just see what happens so if I go back to my chatbot and uh, yeah yeah this should be good to go so you see that we get a get started button you should be able to see this get started button now and uh, once you click on this and head over to ngrok you'll see that you get a post request and you'll see that in the payload we have this first handshake right now how to detect this well it's just simple 
what you have to do is uh, first of all we need to do a couple of things we are not entirely sure that in every request Facebook would send us a message right so yeah but the user ID would be there so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna say that this messaging Ching array is first of all this thing right messaging and then this thing so the next thing we have is that if is set messaging array and then I'm gonna say post back right if it's set and if messaging array post back is actually equal to our first handshake that means the user actually uh, you know clicked on the get started button right and what we can do here is uh, we can actually take this all this off and create a new function send text message and message here or yeah that would be fine for now so we can just say message here right and uh, obviously I would need to do like that right it's in the commas that would do the work right so if that's the case what I want to do is uh, let's just comment this out send text message hello there right and let's just die for the moment so let's just see if we have all set and for the user ID we can pass it right here user ID and the access token as well right and uh, that should do it yeah looks good okay are we closing this not really okay so let's just try it and see if we get any errors or actually this was these two are global so I need not pass them but anyways right okay now let's just try to clear the chat and message it again okay we don't get anything let's just see what happens undefined index line 26 what does that mean well, we have post back set the script should probably die shouldn't it oh for the post back we need payload as well yeah let's just try it again all right we don't get anything now so send text message is user id oh we don't need this condition for now because we'll be handling our <coughs> checking ourselves right one final time here we have our hello there right so that's how pretty much you create a get started button and obviously if you want to see that again you have to delete your conversation so here this is and uh, that is how pretty much you create that and if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching in the next one i'll just do something 
more amazing with facebook chatbot i will show you so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching